A girl places a lamp in front of a concave mirror. She sees a clear image of the lamp on the wall. The height of the image is twice the height of the lamp. The focal length of the mirror is 25 centimeters. Calculate the distance from the mirror to the lamp. This question is going to use a few equations, so the first thing to do is make a list of what we know. F equals 25 centimeters, and M, the magnification, equals 2. F equals 25 centimeters, and M, the magnification, equals 2, from the image being twice the height of the object. Since M is also the image distance over the object distance, we can rearrange and say that the image distance equals 2 times the object distance. Positive since it's on the same side as the object, a real image. To relate focal length, which we know, and object or image distance, which we know in terms of each other, we use 1 over f equals 1 over the image distance plus 1 over the object distance. Substituting in what we figured out before, we've got 1 over 25 centimeters equals 1 over 2do plus 1 over do, or 1.5 over do. In rearranging, we just have the object distance equal to 37.5 centimeters, which wasn't too hard to find. If we use the information they give us, to figure out what they don't give us. A girl is in her garden, which is just outside her room. There is a radio playing in her room, and the door of her room is open. By comparing the wavelengths of light and sound waves, discuss why she can hear, but not see, the radio. The most important thing to recognize here is that the question is talking about diffraction, since we're talking about waves passing through a gap, or a doorway in this case. We can remember that some waves diffract, or are bent, a lot, so are visible or audible to someone on the other side of the wall, and not right next to the gap, while other waves don't diffract as much. If we remember back to learning about diffraction, what was it that determines how much or little a wave diffracts? That's right, wavelength. The closer the wavelength of a wave is to the width of what it's trying to diffract through, the more it will diffract. So looking at the question, this example makes sense. Light waves have very, very tiny wavelengths, so even if the wavelength of sound isn't quite as large as the width of the doorway, it will still be closer to it than the wavelength of light is. And so sound waves will diffract a lot more. This is what makes her able to hear the radio, but not see it.